this is Sunny, and welcome to my channel. Ah, what a day I've been having. First I ran to Target to get a refund on a chair that did not feel comfortable. And what else did I do? Other stuff. <laughs> I went to City Mill and got a chair that is comfortable. Um, am I in focus? Let's see. I think I'm pretty much in focus. Well, you know, today we were supposed to be unboxing the Zero Water. 30 cup Zero Water. Well, I made a video unboxing it, and it was 23 minutes long, and it was boring. <laughs> so I threw it away. I'm sorry. I don't want it. I don't want it boring. Anyhow, um, I have everything ready now. I needed to rinse out the uh, brand new container and the, all the parts. And uh, here is the Zero Water Filter. It's huge uh, compared to the Brita and the Pure that I'm used to. And um, I think you're supposed to unscrew this. And this is what it looks like in there. Now. Okay. I had to look it up when I was washing the thing. And unlike Brita and Pure, you do not soak this. Okay. So, the first thing I wanted to show you, the only thing that was fun in the first take of the video was this little meter that they give you okay so you can turn it on and it says zero 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 and then you put it in your tap water but let me try it let me see I'm this is the Minahuni water the filtered water that I get and I'm gonna try it it is coming in at zero, zero, zero as well. Okay, it's coming in at zero, zero, zero. So you can buy Manahuni water and know that there is no dissolved solids in there. So this is our tap water here in Hawaii. And all of a sudden it goes zooming up and I'll push the hold button so you can see. Shake it off a little bit. And ours is coming in at 129. Okay? Off. So, now that I got everything set, let me have a little sip. My fruit punch is all gone. Wah. Okay, so you take this. Now, what they said is you do not put it like pure and Brita. You put it down this way through the puka. This one, you put it on here and rotate it. Rotate it, rotate it, rotate it. And there's this O-ring. You see that blue O-ring? And when you rotate it enough, it's going to make a nice tight seal. And I can feel that tight seal too. So that's a nice tight seal. And we're going to put this towards the back end. see me <laughs> okay so we put it together right and then you pour your water in here and then it's going to filter down into here so let me take some of the tap water that I've got and I'm actually going to pour the glass that we tested at 129 and I'm going to pour that in there and then the rest of, this is just tap water that I've 
I used an old Menahuni bottle and I filled up regular tap water. I have Menahuni water that is fresh, freshly opened. It's just, it's just from the store. And I know it's, I know that which one is which because that one's perspiring from being cold in the refrigerator. So I'm going to pour some more in. I don't want to pour too much because I'm going to have to carry it in and put it in the fridge. And that's going to be a big mess. And the queen of catastrophes wants to keep the catastrophes down a little bit today. Okay, so it's starting to filter now. And it's kind of on the slow side. That's fine. And then we will take some out and test it. Now, I have another clean glass here, and the water that comes out of the uh, zero water, excuse me, I got the hiccups all of a sudden. We'll test it. <laughs> I got the hiccups. Actually, I brought a ton of water in here that I didn't need to have brought in. <laughs> I'll be carrying some of it back out into the kitchen again. Because this is going to be easier if I fill it real close to the fridge and then just put it in there. It uh, surprisingly goes through pretty fast. I would think that maybe the first uh, couple glasses will have a few little specks of um, the sandy stuff that it's, you know, just coming out. I'm not sure where it's coming out from. I did not see a puka in the bottom of that filter, but perhaps there is. So, hey, we got some new subscribers. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome to the Ohana. And um, make sure you chat in the comment section below to your new family members. You're going to find out they're really great people. They're making good friends with one another. And it's just a terrific community. Speaking of community, and please stay focused, Mr. Cellphone. Um, if you go to my Facebook, I mean, not my Facebook, erase, if you go to my YouTube main, uh, like this is my channel page, uh, where you can click at the top, like videos, when you click videos, it shows all the videos um, with the latest one up at the top. But if you keep going over and over and over, over here is a thing that says community. And sometimes I post um, comments and um, announcements there. So anyhow, make sure that if you get notified, because you click, click the little bell, right, when you subscribe. So then when you get notified, you either have a video or you have an announcement over there. Well, I find that this is actually not too slow of a filter. I'm going to pour more. Oh, see what else I brought? I brought that gallon and I brought this and I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, I know. I brought this because I thought I might have to soak the filter and I thought oh I can just soak the filter right here but we will use this to pour a little bit more I'm not doing a good job of pouring it's splashing down the side oh and you know me I always got my paper towels my paper towels which I throw on the floor Okay, let's dry and dry. Let's see if we can get some out. I actually can. Let's turn this on. 
Now, when I rinsed out this reservoir, I forgot to wipe it out, so there might be something left in there. Mr. in the camera, would you please keep track of me? Okay. Uh, It is zero. I had to play with the buttons because I couldn't believe my eyes. So we're filtering this water at zero already. So that means it's just as good as Manahuni water. Well, it doesn't pass through coconut husk. So it won't have that teeny tiny hint of coconut flavor. But now, I saw a man on YouTube telling the most ingenious concept. When you read this chart that comes with it, mm, no, not this chart, another chart. At any rate, it, it projects how long your uh, filter is going to last. Okay, and it says to replace your filter when it's reading 006. Now, it's showing all the different five stages. Just in case any of you are interested, I'll tell you. The first stage, which is that white one that I showed you when I tipped it up, that removes the suspended solids such as dust and rust that makes your water appear cloudy. Stage two is a dark part. Uh, distribution for even flow. Uh, part three removes organic contaminants and stops bacteria from growing. Stage four, which is the biggest, removes inorganic compounds. And stage five removes remaining suspended solids. So that's pretty cool. And you can read all about it at Zero Water. Uh, only dispenser certified to reduce both lead and chromium. Now that's important to me because chromium, it, it builds up in your system. And it for me, it made me have a really... Um, low blood sugar one time uh, that was from taking massive amounts though that was in a vitamin and I did I wasn't aware of it so okay this works well I'm very very happy with it we'll put this through again I couldn't hurt it and put this in there that won't hurt it okay so I got all my glasses emptied I'm going to take it back out in the kitchen, get it set up in the fridge. Um, so this has ended up being a short video, but um, you know what? I didn't do the taste test, did I? So let me get let me get some poured out through this spigot. And I have to say the spigot works great too. Okay. Cheers. That's really good. And it's not even cold. So just imagine how tasty it's going to be when it's cold. That is awesome. I'm going to be drinking a lot of good water. I used to drink almost 100 ounces every day. And I kind of been falling by the wayside. So I got to do that again. It's very healthy for all your organs and your skin and your face. So, to your health, uh, votre santé or a santé. Um, what are your other, what is your favorite? Leave it in the comment below. What is your favorite cheers?
uh, when you're clinking glasses with your friends, huh? Let us know. Anyhow, this is Sunny signing off with very clear and clean and tasty water. So I would highly recommend it if you need to have a water filter because I've had Pures and I've had Brita's. And I say I like this one. The, the uh, filter is more expensive. Oh, 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 real quick before I sh shut down the camera. Um, I was going to tell you what this guy had the bright idea. And it sounds like it would work wonderfully. So you either have a pitcher that you can buy at, at, uh, an, uh, for pretty cheap. The Zero Water Company has small pitchers. And you can make water in there. Or, you know, I might just buy a second one of these. Um, the, the 30 uh, cups. What he does is when his water is finally hitting 006, he transfers the used filter into another pitcher. He uses that to clean his water, which is going at about 120 he uses that to bring the 120 water down to 006 with the old thing. Meanwhile, he's put a new cartridge in the other one. So then he takes the water that's now 006 and puts it into the big filter, brand new filter, which brings puts stuff out at 000 now. So thereby, he cuts out 006 from his 120. He cuts out um, 114 particles. And thereby, the second filter doesn't have to work so hard. So it'll last longer. And that's how they're saving money and still having great water. I think it's a wonderful idea. So I'm going to have to get a second filter and um, a second picture of any kind, um, of any size rather. Um, of course it has to be the zero filter because the other pictures are not going to hold the filter correctly. So, But that is a genius idea. So in the long run you'll be filtering a ton of water for much cheaper than when you're just throwing away the 006. Anyhow, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to turn you off. Turn off the phone, um, hang up, that's what I used to always say and I forgot it. I used to say, I'm going to hang up now. So I'm going to hang up now and um, I'm going to be going to get Dennis here in a couple of hours, pick him up from work and then come home and make some pork chops, I think. Anyhow, I love you very much. I hope that you're having a fun weekend and let me know what's up for tomorrow's agenda at your house, what you're doing for fun, and we're going to probably just be resting and being couch potatoes, because <laughs> Dennis worked hard this week and he deserves a day off to rest and relax. Anyhow, love you very much and um, see you down the road as my friends go RVing. They're always saying, see you down the road.